this way and it, I would be sideways. YouTube, we got to work on this. This isn't working for me, okay? This isn't working for my viewers and all my cute followers that I love with all of my heart because they're the best people on the planet. We don't like having to hold the phone. What am I doing wrong? Ah! All right, we're not gonna get our we're not gonna get our underwear up in a bunch over this. There's too much going on. So I thought I would follow up with a live stream and hope that you are having a good afternoon, guys. I know there's a lot going on. I know it's very stressful. I want to try not to be a smart aleck. You know, it's hard. It's so hard. Ah! <laughs> Don't do it, Patera. <laughs> so listen, good evening. I know it's dinner time for you, and um. I'm cheating with a live stream. You know live streams are cheats, right? YouTubers cheat with live streams. It's a way to make a video, get information to you, talk to... I know it's not a complete cheat because we get to talk to you. Um, I don't see any comments yet. This is very weird. Usually I have a hi or a hello or something. Have I got dinner on my face yet? No. <laughs> no. I, ca I can't see any comments, so I'm not ignoring you on purpose. It's just not popping up. Maybe it's going to take a few minutes, so I may not have really good connection. So I want to thank you so much for the response from you, you ladies in particularly, because uh, most of my comments that I've gotten, um, I'm watching my dog spin in circles chasing her tail. Okay, this is a good moment right now. <laughs> She's just going like, okay, squirrel. Um, puppy. Um, but I want to thank you for your comments on my last video. You guys were incredible. I, I, um, you know, I had two people, women. I knew that th there's always a woman or two that gets their panties all up in a bunch when you tell them not to put their, um, hole punchers in their purses. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what, um, I want to say this. I really don't know what me having to, what, what, Donald Trump has to do with me giving you my personal opinion and advice. <laughs> yeah, hit the thumbs up, y'all. Hit it. Uh, what does Donald Trump have to do with whether or not you carry a hole puncher and how you carry a hole puncher? I haven't figured that out. So, so one lady, I went to her. I got to tell you what I did. I was nice. I was. I, I'm really a nice person. I went to her channel and told her I really wanted to watch and see if I would learn anything. She told me, she said, I, I think she's deleted her comment because I was going to pin it for you to see it. So you didn't think I was making this up. And, um, but I went to her channel. I didn't subscribe yet. I may subscribe to her channel. I'm going to, I'm going to support her because she's got actual videos. She's like, she did some really deep stuff. She took some, um, rotisserie, she took some Walmart rotisserie bought chicken out of her refrigerator and she put it on a tortilla with some iceberg lettuce and some old bacon. And then she poured ranch on it and she spilled her ranch all over it. And then she was licking it off of her fingers. I told her I was trying to learn something. So I don't know what that was, but she was so wonderful to me telling me that I was a little Trump supporter, ha ha, and that I was brainwashed. I don't know what me telling you <laughs> I'm not really sure what that has to do with trying to keep women safe, but apparently, I guess she sensed that I was, I don't know, maybe, I wasn't even wearing my tea hat this morning. I'm not really sure. Um, and then there was another lady that got really upset because she was, she, she said I was mocking people that carried po carry pocketbooks. Well, I guess I'm going to have to make fun of myself. So, Mamma, I'm sorry that you were confused. Um, I do do have a little carry bag. It's a, it's, it's got a little strap. It's got butterflies on it too. I'm Mariah Carey and Dolly Parton all at the same time. But, and, um, she got offended. And so I, I just couldn't deal with that hot mess. So I just left her alone. Cause that's just plain silly. Um, so, um, I hope you can hear me. I think you can hear me because I had you plugged in. So I don't know. So if this messes up, we'll do it again. But listen, I don't, um, I don't know if you're seeing all the things today. <laughs> I don't know if you're seeing all of the things today um, that are going on in terms of... I get phone calls and everything when I'm doing a live stream. <laughs> can you hear me? I don't know if you can hear me. I hope you can. So, listen, um, 
I got, uh, you're probably seeing a lot of things today that are happening in terms of potential things going on in a couple of days or on Friday. Um, you know, unfortunately we're getting warnings about different things and I'm seeing different things from different places and different areas. Um, I just want you to be, um, extremely, um, aware and, um, to be safe. And I want to let you know, I really mean this. I don't care who you are, what color you are, who you voted for, who your dead aunt voted for or whatever. I want you ladies and gentlemen and children and everybody out there to be safe. Okay. Um, because ultimately we are all in this, uh, incredible situation together. Um, it, depending on especially how things evolve. Um, so, um, you know, I just want you to know that. So you, you, you can, like I said in my video, I know I'm going to make some women mad and apparently I made two mad. So I'm I did good. I did. I only, it was only two. Um, and, um, you know, I still want you safe. I just want you to make good decisions about your safety for you and your family. And if you have to go to Walmart to buy your rotisserie chicken and your tortillas, I want you to make a good decision about maybe not going alone um, to make sure you go at a decent time that works best where there's less people and that you are able to defend yourself and make a good decision if something were to happen at your Walmart when you're buying your rotisserie chicken so you can come home and make your video for YouTube. That's really all I'm trying to accomplish. I'm not, I'm not really trying to uh, strong arm anybody into believing like me or being like me or doing anything like that. I just wanna know that um, I think I've had enough uh, training to understand that what works for most people and I want that to be the goal for you. Um, I also wanna let you know that if you are choosing to um, have a hole puncher um, I really want to encourage you to do the best that you can. Let me rest my arm this way. I really want you to do the best that you can. Oh, oh, oh. Um, to make sure that it is concealed. Uh, you have to know your state laws. You have to know what's allowed in your area. That's your homework to do, not mine to do for you. Um, we are, uh, we, um, we can constitutionally carry here in the state of Tennessee, but I also um, have my permits. So um, somebody was a little bit testy with me a gal from North Carolina she wants to know how come she never sees me carrying and it's because ma'am um, if you are trained well with 83 this isn't Paramount Plus okay all right uh, especially if you are a lady um, I want to tell you my personal opinion which some of you won't agree with that's okay you do it works for you um, I personally have the uh, opinion that if you open carry um, probably in most cases, especially if you are not tactical or in law enforcement or anything like that. I mean, even if you are, unfortunately, that's why they wear, wear body armor, a lot of things like that in a lot, a lot of situations. Um, I hate to tell you, but you've just made yourself a target. See, this is where women a lot of times, unfortunately, fail uh, with self-defense. Not all, so don't take it personal. I ain't pinpointing anybody. Um, a lot of times, uh, women fail in self-defense only because they don't like to think like a criminal. You're too nice. You're, you're too sweet. And that's a bonus in most situations. And it's a, it's a wonderful thing in a good world. But unfortunately, we're not living in a good world. So what happens is, is you fail. I can even fail um, at thinking like a criminal. And, you know, so you have to go dark and think, like I said the other day in the video, if you're going to be successful or have good chances, then you have to think about what would criminals do? What would demons do? What would bad people do? And what would be soft targets for them to go after? And this is what I want you to think about. If I were going to, um, you know, perpetrate in some situation, I'm going to remove my threats for me so that I can carry out my threat. So I personally feel that in a lot of situations, if you open carry, then obviously you've made yourself the first target. That's the way I've been trained. You may not agree with that. Um, that doesn't apply for all people in all situations, but if you're, you know, if you're not going in like a Navy SEAL, then don't act like one. Okay. Um, that's pretty much my train of thought. And uh, so that's for the lady in North Carolina. Um, and uh, so I hope that uh, sort of uh, cleared that up. And, uh, you know, that's for guys too. Um, you, you do what you want. You, you, if you want to be rooting and tooting and act like you're an outlaw in the, in the, out, in the way, out way, make sure you put your star on too. I don't know, <laughs> but <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, um, anybody that I've ever trained with, they don't open carry. Okay. 
They can. They prefer not to open carry. Um, you know, obviously, if you're out hunting or if you're out trying to prove a point, that may be different. But from day, for day-to-day -day life, for most people and women in particular, um, that's probably where, how, what and how you need to be. Because, you know, if you're walking around rooting, tooting like the baddest cowboy in town and somebody can come up behind you and clock you upside the back of the head, well, they've just, they've just taken care of that now, haven't they? They can do that anyway, but you, you get my point. So that's where I'm going with that. But I just want you to be thinking, oh, I've got visitors coming. Um, can you see them? Oh, I don't think you can. Let's see. I've got little visitors coming. Um, but that, that's pretty much um, how I feel about that. Now, listen, if this is not going through correctly, I will redo this live stream. I'm going to keep it kind of short because I'm not seeing any comments. It's not even popping up. So I don't know if I'm just like frozen in the water right there. Oh, here comes my husband. And again, thank you for the response on the video. And I want to thank you women that are 99.9% .9 of you that all of your comments are fantastic, are honest, and are very helpful to other women in particular. I did check out the channel. Um, some of you were suggesting that I, that folks check, there was two or three of you that said, I'd never seen this little gal's channel before. She equips herself. Um, I, I went and watched a video or two of hers. I haven't had a lot of time this afternoon. Um, I did watch the video of hers making some suggestions on uh, different things that women can wear to successfully carry a hole puncher. Um, and I have to tell you, I was impressed. Now, I'm not big into bad. I know how I feel about that. Um, but she did have some um, suggestions on some... Uh, reconnect, reconnect, reconnect. But I did. So... Thank you to, uh, there was two or three of you that made that suggestion. And like I said, I'd never seen her, I've never seen her channel before. She's got over 100,000 subscribers. So you guys might learn something real good over there. Uh, so I just want to make a suggestion and do a little shout out for her to grow her channel. And to, like I said, anytime people are giving really positive reinforcement and helpful information for people, then that's the route that we want to go. We, we really don't want to mess with individuals that want to be political when we don't have to be, uh, that when it has nothing to do with the bottom line of we need to be looking out for each other, okay? I'm very well aware of the fact that there's a lot of people that may or may not fully agree with me on a lot of issues or politics or this and that and the other. I get it, and I'm okay with that. But when it comes down to taking care of citizens uh, and taking care of our children, um, this is where we need to be thinking because, folks, uh, we're up against a lot right now, and um, people need support. That doesn't mean that doesn't have anything to do with money. I'm talking about just be nice or don't say anything at all. You know, um, people are very fragile right now mentally uh, for a lot of reasons beyond and already before. Uh, this past weekend happened, and uh, we need to be really sensitive about that. Uh, you know, there you're not just having to worry about um, a rise up of terrorists or something like that. You you really have to always be aware of people um, that are um, you know fragile, uh, that may be mentally ill, or just criminals in general. And uh, we always can say that. Well, I'm going to break because I'm getting phone calls and it's my mama. And you know, you can't ignore your mama. So if I'm talking and it's silent, I'm going to start the whole life. I'll delete this one and uh, we will start it all over again. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So have a good night. Like I said, if this is being weird, which it probably is knowing my luck, um, we in with you. Like I said, if this is all messed up, I will redo it and we will cover the whole thing again. And you'll see me in my little... Uh, Donald Trump hat twice. <laughs> That's what everybody wants to think that it is. So I'm just going with it. Whatever, whatever. Stay safe. And, you know, I, I, I'm one of these people that when people tell me something's going to happen on a specific day or time, I'm always skeptical of that. But it doesn't mean it can't happen at another time soon, right? So you always have to be aware and that was the whole point of that video this morning you do what works best for you guys okay i'm not <laughs> do something do something good that's right make yourself a pumpkin spice latte i won't drink it it's all for you okay <laughs>
吧。